Ah, this is Brooklyn, St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics Guy. Preventing you from becoming a biscuit headed grower. Today, high class growers, we're gonna be touching on a little bit about doing aquaponics without owning any property. We got nighttime aquaponics today. It's a different situation. It's the weekend right now and I feel like popping one of these videos out. So I'm on it right now. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. And But before we jump into it, I wanna thank you guys for liking the video and subscribing to the channel and keeping this thing hot around here. I appreciate you guys out there. So the question that we have today comes from my man Gabriel Allen going on out there Gabriel it says how do you practice aquaponics when you don't own any property it says thank you for the videos you are doing the world a great service I appreciate that Gabriel just here doing my part and uh, giving my contributions before I pass on and go to the next round so with that being said we all know that if you want to grow food, no matter what type of growing method you're using, you know, property and space, that's a big part of it. So if you don't have access to, um, you know, property or, or space, then that's obviously going to cause a problem. But that doesn't mean that this is the end of the world. And that's what I want you to understand right now. So we're going to go over a few ways that you can get around this if you don't own any property. Because I know a lot of you guys out there probably don't have your own spot. You probably don't own or rent, and I'm gonna lump both of those in there, owning or renting, right? You don't have to necessarily own your own property to do aquaponics. You could be renting. You just need the space, uh, really, to, to be able to place a system there. And it doesn't really matter, you know, unless you're, you're, um, the pl uh, place that you're renting from has some type of stipulations on not being able to build or put, it, put up anything, you know, on the land. Other than that, it doesn't matter if you're going to be uh, owning the property or renting it. So I'm going to put those together. So if you don't have, if you don't own, don't own or rent any property, you know, that's going to be, that could be problematic. And so you guys are probably in that situation. So let's get to it. Now, the first thing that you can do, or one of the things that you can do if you don't own or rent any property, is that you could um, ask either a relative or a friend, someone that you have a relationship with, if they own or rent property, you can ask them if you're able to build something there. You got to let them know what you're doing, right? Let them know exactly what you're going to be doing and then see if they're okay with you doing that, right? You can use, a, if they have a patio in the backyard or if they have a backyard, they have, you know, maybe um, a drive, uh, a um, garage that they're not using, maybe uh, extra rooms or something that they're not using. Anything like that that they could possibly be not using at the time and see if they're be, they will be willing to let you do that. Right now, the thing is, you, you're going to want to give them something in return. You're not going to just want to ask and not provide them anything. So what you can say is, you know, any of the, the the harvest that you have, you say that you'll give it to them. So basically, you're just growing their their food for them while you're practicing you know, your aquaponics, while you're setting something, uh, something up and then getting your practice on, right? So see if that will work. In fact, when I built my first aquaponics system, I was in the same situation. I didn't have any property, right? I was in the Marine Corps at the time, living in the barracks. And if you guys don't know what the barracks is, that's basically like a dorm room where the, the Marines are living, you know, that's like your, your quarters where you're living at, right? And there's absolutely zero space to set up an aquaponic system, right? You're bunched up two, three people to a room, right? And you're living that type of style. So what I had to do, and this for the single Marines, the, those who are single, right? So what I had to do is my um, best friend who was also in the Marine Corps at the, at the time, Carlos, some of you guys know him. I let him know about aquaponics and he had his, he was married. So uh, he had his own spot out in town, right? So I let him know what I was doing, and it just so happened to be that he uh, has an extreme passion for fish. So when I brought up the concept of aquaponics, you know, and there's no place for me to do it, it's kind of like, okay, well, we can do it here at my spot. So, boom, you know, I was all for it. Went and bought the tools and the material, 
less than a day, aquaponic system was set up, the first one, right? So he got the chance to work with fish, which is something that he really wanted to do. And I got the chance to practice on my aquaponics, right? So it worked out. We both benefited from the, uh, the, the situation. So you got to make sure that whoever you're asking is going to benefit from it. You're not just going to want to be asking and not, you know, giving anything back. That's not the way it works, right? So you can do that. Now, if you do rent, say you do have your own apartment, another thing that you can do is if you have a small patio, you know, on the, a, a small piece of land that is, um, that, that comes with your space, then you can set up a small system in that patio. A lot of apartments come with little patios in the back, right? You can set something up back there. Preferably, you'd want to put together um, like an NFT or a vertical system, something that's lightweight, you know, and doesn't require a lot of space, right? You can set it up in little, little sections, probably like a four by uh, four section, four by eight, however big those things are. I lived in apartments my whole life. So we had those in the back, you know, a little, a little patio that you can um, put stuff, uh, stuff out on. So that's an area that you can set it up if you rent because you did ask about owning and maybe you're not sure if you can set something up if you're renting. But if you rent and that's an apartment, you can put it up in that space. And also when I got out of the Marine Corps, I lived in a townhouse, right? That was the transitional period. I lived in a townhouse for um, a few months. And while I was there, it did have a small patio space in the back. And so what I did was I used to set up small systems, aquarium systems. Like I had, um, I don't think I brought any of these aquariums with me. Let me see. Did I, br I may have brought one of these with me. I'm not sure, but I got like four or five of these aquarium tanks. I may have brought the same one that I used to s experiment on when I was living in the townhouse, but I used to set up the little small systems, NFT systems, and just run my experiments on it while I'm trying to figure out how the thing works, right? To hone in on my skills. I used to have that set up in the backyard or the patio before I made my transition to where I'm at now and bought a three acres plot, you know, and start uh, investing in bigger systems and really starting to, um, you know, to, to really get uh, further acquainted with aquaponics. So that's what I did. Right. So I was in that situation as well. And that's something that you can do. Definitely. You don't need a lot of space. That's the thing. If you're just trying to practice for the sake of practicing, a lot of space is not required. You just need to be able to set up a system properly and then just experiment off of that. Understand the concept, how it works, get a good feel for it before you then move on to something bigger. If you move on to a, a, a plot or a house that has a bigger space where you can set something up where you invest more money in, right? So that's what you want to do. Now, lastly, what you can do, if those two, say those two are not or those both of those options are unavailable to you. You don't have any friends or family that you can ask. Say everybody says no. Right. And you don't own an apartment or you don't rent an apartment, excuse me, where it has a, a patio where you can set something up and maybe you can't set it up in a room or anything. Maybe there's no space. What you can do is you can look for local aquaponic growers, right? You can go on forums. Facebook is big. There's a big community of aquaponic growers there. You can go on there and check and find out who's in your area, right? Who's doing aquaponics in your area and who has a system that is set up, their own, you know, their own space, own system. And then you can build a relationship with these people. There's also apps like an app called Meetup. We can go on there, they have farmers on there. Maybe there's some aquaponic growers in your area and you can go on there and check. Build a relationship with these guys first Right. Farmers are a lot are, are very reluctant. Right. To let a lot of people in people who grow uh, in these type of fields. Right. They're going to be reluctant. A lot of times they're very busy. The schedules are very busy. So once again, you're going to have to present something that's going to make it appealing to them to allow you to come over and to work on their system. Right. You're not going to just ask someone, let me come over and, and teach me everything about aquaponics and you're not providing anything in return. Right. The secret is going to be you're going to have to give something in return up front. Right. Let them know. Look, I'll work on your entire system. I'll plant seeds for you. Like I'll te test all your water quality for you. You know, I'll um, harvest for you. 
you'll do something for them, right, in order to make that deal sweet, right, if that's what it comes down to. And then in return, they will be more willing to allow you to come over after you've built some rapport and a relationship. You don't just come out asking right away. You build a relationship first, talk first, get to know the person first before you ask anything uh, of that sort because you're, you, you know, you're coming into someone's personal space, right? And then once you build that relationship, then you can, you know, you can inquire about, you know, hey, you know, is it all right if I come over and, you know, check out the system or, or learn a little bit more about the system? And then, you know, if so, I, you know, I'll do this for you. This is what I'll do for you. This, 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 and this, you know, and then see what they say, right? So that's another option that you can do. And the thing is, right, you know, this is a, you know, an unorthodox, you know, type of situation where you're trying to get to something that you desire, but you're kind of blocked off because you need the area in the property, you know, to put it together. So this is something you're going to have to have a strong desire in order to make happen, right? You're going to want to go out and try to figure this out. If you have the desire to do so and you really want to do aquaponics, and this is something that is really, really, you know, that you're really, really passionate about and you have a strong desire, it will happen, right? That's the same. I've been in the same situation when I started, right? No property, no land, no anything, no experience. If you got the desire, you will figure it out, right? So hopefully that has helped you guys out, you know, I know a lot of you guys are out there with no property and you want to get into this thing, man. I already know it. I know it for a fact, especially you city guys out there. I know it. So, you know, just keep the desire strong. Keep that passion, you know, burning. And I guarantee that you will figure it out. Right. So with that being said, like I said, hopefully this has helped you guys out. Um, if, if any of you guys have other questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Right. Make sure to go to the School of Aquaponics dot com and get you a free uh, course get into uh, aquaponics paradise and learn the fundamentals of aquaponic growing and get out there and get growing right i want to thank you guys again for liking the video subscribing to the channel you guys are absolutely appreciated out there gabriel my man thank you once again for your question and you know man i hope this helps you out for real i hope you're able to figure something out you know i've been in that that circumstance right? And in that situation, just keep on, you know, just keep thinking about it, keep your mind on it. And somehow the situation will work itself out. You'll find someone that may be interested in aquaponics and then maybe they have some land, maybe you got the capital or maybe they have the land and the capital and maybe you just have the passion and the drive and or the knowledge and you guys can figure something out. This is just how the universe works, right? It's really, really crazy right? So just keep it on your mind, right? Don't give up. All right. So with that being said, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics reminding you to stop walking and get you a car. <laughs>